Thousands of Malians on Friday thronged the streets of the capital, Bamako, to demand the resignation of President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita. The massive response to the anti-government protest comes after a series of calls by opposition groups accusing the president of not addressing the country's latest resurgent opposition. Pressure is mounting on Keita over failure to contain the 2012 jihadist insurgency that killed thousands of soldiers and civilians. We are here to end corruption. We are here to end the dying power in this country. Power that is no longer capable of educating our children, giving us good health, equipping our army. Imagine in a country where the money intended to equip the army to protect the nation is misappropriated. Ibrahim Boubacar Keita announced on Tuesday that he would hold talks on establishing a unity government. A move some critics say is an attempt to appease increasingly vocal opposition critics. However, it did little to hold back the protesters. He thinks that after our discussions at the rally, the demonstrators are going to be tired. But they won't be. God willing, we will continue until victory is achieved. From ECOWAS arrived in Bamako on Thursday. The delegation is calling for the establishment of a consensual government of national unity and a re-examination of the results of legislative elections. Election results they consider manipulated by the Constitutional Council.